Welcome back. This is going to be part two of the cosplay weapon making videos. I got done watching what I had already recorded and figured it was enough for a video on its own. Plus it was another day and I wanted to shoot a second video today on another step of the process. Now we are on the sanding step of the process. As you can see I am ready. This was the pieces that we showed in the prior episode where um, we fit them together, we figured out, you know, they may be a little too thick. But now, after playing with it a little bit, I figured it's probably not terribly too thick. But it does have to be sanded down for sure. So, first mission is going to be to sand down the textured side so the uh, surface area is greater. You just have one smooth surface to try to glue together instead of these ridges and stuff. And to do that, we're going to use this little uh, Craftsman belt sander this is a belt sander grinder kind of combination it does have the sanding disc and the obviously the, the belt sanding uh, attachment on here i got this uh used off of craigslist locally for about 20 bucks which was great but unfortunately the little mount here is kind of hokey and you can kind of hear it rubs against the case a little bit depending on where it is and I also have a hard time finding the belts for this thing, believe it or not. Craftsman came out with another model after this one was released, as far as I know. And I'm sure there's a few other newer models. But the belts they come are a lot more common. This is actually a 2-inch by 42-inch belt. And the, the disc sanding part is a 6-inch disc. Those you could find, because that's the uh, size for your standard like orbital sanders. But the belt, from what I've been able to research doesn't seem like they're pretty easy to find so eventually you know this thing will get replaced and but for now it works I do have a, a random orbit sander that's pneumatic but the fire of my air compressor which is god awful loud I just rather not do that plus it uses so much air even though it's a big tank I have to constantly you know go through cycles and I just don't really feel like listening to that so I'd rather give it the old hand job or give it the old belt sanding job here so I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to gently go along the belt here as best as I can and give that a shot and see how that works. Um, my brother usually uses a palm sander when he does this, so that will, of course, have better results. But I don't have a regular palm sander like one of those like Black & Decker mouse sanders or one of those little guys because that would be perfect. But I, I digress. You know, it's one of those things. Smoke them if you got them. This is what I got. This is what we're going to use and see how well it works. Well, that took me just about a few minutes, and you could see that it sanded pretty well. There was some spots that I was a little afraid of, honestly, like in here, because this just started flapping about, and obviously um, holding this against here is a little tedious, especially when this belt is, it moves downwards, so everything wants to be pulled down, which is great if you're doing metal or wood or anything like that, but when you're doing foam stuff, it wants to like suck the foam into this little uh, area here this little space between it so I I kind of just held it gently this way and try to get it so it was down here so it wasn't just like dragging downwards on me and I would you know turn a little bit some of the spots I was able to like the handle here just get in and turn it and sand uh, well, I didn't do this one but the other ones I, I sanded in there pretty nice and there are some spots where I got to go through it again and the trigger guards a little tricky so I'm going to do this by hand, either with the Dremel tool or just a hand block of sandpaper, just do it that way. You can see it kicks up quite a bit of dust, as one could expect. It, it does get everywhere, and it's not like wood dust, which is useful. This is just crap that just gets everywhere. It gets all over you, gets all over your work surface. So it's definitely something you want to do outside or someplace where you can easily clean it up. But now this is starting to come together. This is actually this side here. What I do intend on doing is, is either clamping this together or just straight up gluing it or something. So I can actually sand this in mass and do the whole thing together and sand all these surfaces nice. You can see the middle one wasn't sanded, but the other two were. Oh, mind the pollen. And it's getting there. It certainly is getting there. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a couple more passes with uh, what I have here. Maybe whip the Dremel tool out, like I said. I could probably do some of this here back on the belt again. 
but that belt does move awfully fast as one could imagine this would go a lot better if I had some kind of a variac or a VFD or something where I can just slow this down just a little bit that would make it a lot better uh, also I don't I don't know if this can be cut with a hot knife or not I know it's regular foam like styrofoam and uh, I think there's a couple others that can but I don't know if this particular foam can or not I have to go to the manufacturers website or maybe just do some searching around and see if I can find it but if this could be cut by heat wire that would make this uh, whole process go a lot quicker because then you can just you know move this about like you're using a jigsaw basically as opposed to using the knife that I did but anyway that would be the subject of another video so yeah looking good so far well, I'm at the stage of the game now where I'm ready to glue the halves together I'm pretty sure at least um, I did put the outer edges together and I sanded around the end here to give it a nice handle but unfortunately in doing so I kind of threw off the design a little bit between the middle pieces and the outside so I decided yeah it's time to glue it together uh, and I did initially decide I was going to do the Mod Podge inside but I decided against it we're going to use good old flesh and hot glue because I can actually direct the hot glue let's say a line right here and a line right here and then before it dries I can kind of hold the pieces in place where I want them to be and you know I can go ahead and make it look nicer that way I did do some dremeling now when you use a dremel disc which is round on a flat surface that's soft and you go too fast to kind of dig in like that which isn't ideal but fortunately that's on the mid part of the gun where it's not going to be seen I also went around some of the areas like here um, on one of these pieces yeah you can see the difference between the two and I decided after doing it, I'm like yeah you know what I better get in there and glue it together first before I go any further um, with the Dremel tool though I did kind of chamfer this edge out here on both sides so when your fingers in there it actually feels a lot smoother and I do have to go through and just get off all the little you know sprue pieces here this is just the stuff that didn't get sanded off so I'll clean all that up but I definitely want to go ahead and sand this I already got good old heat gun heating up and I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and like I said I'm gonna just put the glue around the outside edges just to kind of hold it in place for now and we'll see how that works well here it is glued together the technique I did was uh, I started at the front here and just laid down some glue kind of held it in place for just a second until it dried and then I took the gun and just pried this open just a little bit and ran the gun along the seam here squeezing glue into it and then I would squeeze it out and then using a just scrap piece of metal here I would just kind of smooth it over just to kind of fill the seam in and as you can see yeah there are some discrepancies here between the two pieces uh, on the outside and the one in the middle so I'm going to go on to the belt sander now that they're together and hopefully sand these all together without any major issue uh, I kind of should have did that to begin with they fit together a lot better but overall it's looking pretty good it's not bad but I do want to go ahead and clean this up now the shininess that's gonna go away obviously there are some details um, the front sight things like that maybe even the rear sight they're gonna get taken off um, it's just one of those things if I got this cut perfectly originally it wouldn't have been such a bad you know thing I could have uh, fit it together a lot better but since I had to do a lot of sanding on this you can imagine my design uh, went a lot further off than what it was no big deal that's the beauty of doing this cosplay stuff I'm almost tempted just to do this out of wood but I don't know how that would work I I don't really have a lot of scrap wood right now but um, it'd probably be better because I do have the jigsaw and I can sand wood and you know clean wood up a lot better than I can this foam but then again this this foam doesn't hurt it's, it's got give to it so if you you know you're play fighting or something like that with it you don't have to worry about hurting somebody even though we'll have the orange tip at the end which by the way I, I didn't stick in here yet um, that's just gonna get glued around there and shoved in no big deal and the little cover over here in the middle section I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet I might just leave it as is we'll see well to the sander a little further down the rabbit hole 
I went ahead and sanded across the top. I got that pretty smooth, as you can see. It's close enough to what I want it to look like. Back here, I still have a problem because I can't get in here. But here I can. Yeah, I just decided to go ahead and 86 the actual clip section. But now it fits better in the hand. And, you know, it kind of looks a little more unique because uh, I don't want to make this look too realistic, as I mentioned. The hammer still looks pretty good there in the middle, which is what I was going for. But these pieces aren't lining up that great. So I have to go ahead and uh, figure out a way to sand that out. But everything else isn't bad. Still have to get this mid part here, but again, that's more of the working on a belt sander versus working on a drum sander. To which, I just remembered my shopsmith has a belt sanding, or I should say a, a drum sanding attachment. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up, and uh, hopefully we can get that thing to work a little better the way I want it to. Alright, here's what we got so far, after some extensive sanding with the Dremel. It's not exactly coming out the way I had anticipated it to, but it does look pretty cool still. Um, you know, the handle's a little thinner down here than I wanted it to be. But that's okay because it fits all right in the hand. Um, I went in with the side of the Dremel. And by the way, man, is that tough to do. I went in and I just put a little groove in here just to kind of give it that two-dimensional effect. It's not that even, as you can see. The one layer over here is a little thinner than the other. But once you paint it, I think it's going to look all right. Um, I got the tip outside there. I'll have to grab it just to pop it in. But you can see I put the little grip section here for the whole... You know, not not terribly bad. I mean, not terribly good either, but not terribly bad. Not bad for my first time doing this. Um, only thing I did yesterday was just cut the foam out for my brother. I didn't actually get a chance to glue any of it or sand any of it or anything, but it's not bad. I would like to do this again after either buying or making a hot knife or something like that, just so I can cut this out better, because I feel like once I have these pieces cut, squared off and perfect I could really make a nice replica um, or close to a replica I might also like I said try this out of wood my, uh, out of wood for my own merit but I mean it has all the right pieces it doesn't have any sights on the top I could fix that I tried to keep the top as square as possible oh I did actually put some grooves in here and then one in the middle as like an opposite site but of course it doesn't work I need to like, stick something in there to stick up two points there and one point in the front just for looks it doesn't have to be true but I just wanted to do something I might stick a maybe a nail or a screw I'm trying to look at my bins here what I have and see but not bad uh, what do I have left to do with this now well I have a couple little spots I just want to go over a little bit more just uh, clean up and then I got to seal it that's the important part also the scales they don't really line up anymore so I have to uh, adjust those as well to make them look better, actually. Actually, this goes on this side. Yeah, see, they're totally off. It's supposed to go like that. Yeah, it's supposed to go like that. And as you can see, being rounded off in the bottom doesn't help that any. But um, I'll, uh, I'll adjust those because they're supposed to fit like that in your hand, kind of. So I'm going to go ahead and readjust those, replan them out. That's the thing with this, you know, it doesn't always go exactly the way you want it, and uh, it's a learning curve for me at least. Now we'll have to see in the final result when my brother's is done how his looks, if his is going to look a lot better. I think it is. See you in a few minutes. And that's about going to do it for this video. I went ahead and freeformed the scales just to fit better on here. Um, it's it's alright, it's not the best, but it's going to do. And this is going to do it for me for now. Um, the next video is going to be me sealing this up and painting it and calling it a finished project. Um, I will note I went ahead and actually cut a slit. I mentioned I dremeled it, but I actually used the X-Acto knife and just cut an actual slit in here. And I'm going to take this foam and cut it into points and just glue the points in there. And that'll constitute the sights. Well, with that, I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you next uh, episode.